Hi everyone, this is Gail Foster from Century 21 South Coast. Welcome to my webinar regarding the number two easy way to make more money when you sell your home. I've been selling property since uh, late last century and I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people get their homes ready for sale. The first tip I gave you was knowing your buyer and the second important thing that you need to know is that you are not selling your house to yourself. That may seem obvious, but there are five potential pitfalls that will make your property unpopular with buyers. Colour schemes, clutter and personal stuff, unusual or weird themes, pet and cigarette smells, and your front and back gardens. Your taste in colour. Now you may love purple walls, bright red cupboards, black ceiling, whatever, but that is not what most people like. And you need to have most people like your house. Pro popularity is the key to a great sale. Think of it this way. You may see a friend of yours in a black jacket and you absolutely love it. You find out where you can buy it. It's $200. You want to go and buy this black jacket. So when you get to the shop, you see that they're actually on special. The price has been reduced to $150. Bargain. But when you have a look at the rack, there's only one black one left because that's the most popular color. And the one that's left is not in your size plenty in other colors in your size so you've got a decision to make you either walk away because you only want black regardless of the price or you look at the other colors and you think well you know it is reduced in price maybe i can take blue um, but only because it's reduced in price it's exactly the same with houses so get rid of those bright unusual colors repaint in neutrals you can still have pops of color in your soft furnishings if you like there is an exception to the rule now when we're talking houses the majority of homes are for the majority of buyers that's why the majority of homes look the same conventional homes are popular even buyers with unusual taste will often prefer to buy a blank canvas and add their own personality rather than have to remove yours the exception to the rule is for exceptional homes. If you have an architecturally designed building with unusual lines and shapes, that will appeal to people with unusual taste, and that's where you can get away with unusual colors. However, as was the case with this particular property, it can often take quite a long time to find that one elusive buyer whose taste in style and color is exactly the same as yours. So don't make your property too personal. Don't overcrowd the room with personal photos and knickknacks. You are not selling to yourself. And not everyone's going to appreciate your taste in collectibles. They could get damaged as well. You are not the buyer. We all know decluttering is a must. If you want it, pack it. If not, donate it or bin it. Don't expect buyers to look past it. Unusual themes. Dark rooms. This is not what most buyers want. They don't want to have to redo everything when they move in. Well, they might, but only if the price is reduced. Remember the story of the black jacket. Pet peeves. If your darling dog enjoys the indoor life and slobbers all over your carpet, your house is going to smell. Even if you don't notice it, others will. You might like having your pet python lying on your bed. He's absolutely harmless, but it's going to freak your buyers out. Don't have pets around when you're trying to sell the house. And that includes stinky cat trays or loud screeching birds. They're okay outside, not inside. We all know that awful smell of tobacco, stale tobacco odors. Even smokers don't seem to like that smell. You will actually have to wash your walls down, get the carpets and curtains and furniture professionally cleaned. And have a look at your garden as well. People don't like overgrown gardens. They want a nice clean space. They want to be able to see where the boundaries are. First impressions count. The front of your house also needs to be nice and clean. So trim the trees back. It allows lots of light into those front rooms. If your front door is covered up by foliage, it tends to say you're not welcome and people need to feel that you're inviting them into the house. So let's recap. Go neutral for those walls and fixtures. 
declutter and depersonalize, you must appeal to the majority of buyers. It's all about popularity. Eliminate bad smells, remove your pets from the house. You must have neat gardens, concentrate on that street appeal, first impression. And here's number six bonus point. Do you have untidy neighbors? Untidy neighbors will devalue your property and ruin your sale. Offer to help them with the cleanup. You might want to even pay for the entire cleanup yourself. It will be worth it because no one wants to buy a house looking at this sitting right next door. It gives a bad impression. So tap into my experience and my expertise. I can put you in touch with the right people to help you prepare your property for sale. I can come to your house for a free one-on-one -on -one consultation. Call me on 0410-484-376 or email me gail at century21southcoast.com.au. I would love to help you get your property ready. My reward is my happy sellers and my happy buyers. Take your time to read through some of these testimonials that people have been happy to write for me. This is what I work for.